Hello everyone, this is Ultar, and welcome back to our Offworld Trading Company Scientific Campaign. We won last time. We got a little bit lucky, let's be honest. We took a risk on teleportation, paid off. I'm sorry, I love that skill. I'll never stop. Somebody could bid that up to like 40,000. I'd probably still go for it, go after it. It's just, just the way I am. Let's take a look at this next mission, though. Putting all that behind us. Now, there's some interesting options here for our next mission. We've got this plus 20 income, perk dynamite, not bad, but no patent lab. That might make life difficult for us. That's kind of our bonus, the patent lab. Here, we've got a free solar panel perk, which is very tempting, because it'll probably go down next to our headquarters, and we can kind of use that. We can almost certainly use the free solar panel, so that's very tempting. No hacker array, we don't have a hacker array, that's fine. Here, we have the possibility of an extra claim, also potentially very useful. No hacker array. And here we have the possibility of a free metal mine. Kind of tempting in some way, because we can't make a metal mine. But we don't need iron, we just need aluminum. And I don't know if we have any guarantee that we would actually get aluminum. On top of that, from our last mission, we have this aluminum shipment coming in when we upgrade, so hopefully we can kind of tone back the sheer amount of aluminum we need to purchase. And so where I'm leaning right now is this free solar panel. And here's why the free solar panel rather than the extra claim. I'm planning to spend a claim on a solar panel next to my base anyway is probably right. Go for that superconductor and just be using that for my power in most of these games. That's kind of the basic idea. And so since I'm planning on that anyway, I think the free solar panel is better than the no extra claim, or the, the extra claim. Because it also gives me all those resources to build the solar panel, right? And I can't collect any of those myself regardless. And I just have it right at the start. So I think, I think that's the direction I'm leaning. Yeah. And it also, frankly, this also gives me a large amount of income and we're fairly early in the campaign. So income's very, very good. It's that simple. Let's see, what will my income be after this? This is important to figure out if I want to get like an $80 purchase next time. It'll be pretty good. Let's see. We're talking about 76 income after this, so I don't have to leave a whole lot of money left in the bank. But I'm tempted, I'm honestly tempted right now, just to grab these two solar panel engineers and be like, here, all the solar power is mine. Deal with it. Uh, not so interested in the dry ice condenser at all. It has its potential uses, but I don't I don't think we're going to rely on it. So let's just grab these two solar panel engineers. This gives us a massive amount of solar power, potentially very, very useful, and let's get into the mission. Let's Low see. Levels of silicon found. Little silicon. Low levels of carbon found. All the carbon. Levels of iron found. Okay. Medium levels of water found. Found some iron we could maybe use. Found. Once again, we want to make sure to throw down second. A vent. That will be useful. Definitely want to throw down second if we can get away with it. We maybe need to keep looking for a little more silicon somewhere. More Scientific iron here. Colony founded. Okay. He's going to take that nice those nice iron Medium tiles. Levels of silicon found. I think we need to be a little patient keep looking around just a bit more obviously we're getting scans faster and faster hopefully this won't take too much longer I'm really wanting to find a little more silicon if I can get away with it okay what are we seeing what are we seeing carbon not so good he has metal mines isn't that just rude okay we have to we have to pretty much give up at this point and just go with what we found we're going to throw down scientific on top of some of this aluminum if we can manage it. Not too much of it because just the shape's not going to work out with the slope and everything. And actually, I want to immediately Shall we begin? throw down one of those over there. And man, we could get super risky here if we really wanted to, but I don't think I am. Okay. And then we can actually do something like this if we want to. I think we will. 
and this just blocks him off from getting good adjacency bonuses. He has a chemical lab, that's totally fine, that's actually real good for us. No, oh, I want this, I want this so bad. Okay. And now we just have to be super patient because we're going to need the steel from these steel mills. Let's see, can I buy up enough oxygen that it'll send? Sell off some silicon. Okay, there we go. It sent the oxygen. The black market is okay. online. Black market's up. We have no chance to use that whatsoever. Uh, I'm a little bit worried, if I'm going to be entirely honest because of all the committing we've done to all of this, but I'm hoping it'll pay off, right? We're trying to choke our opponent out of the glass market as much as we can. We also need to be looking at the water market, though, because that's not particularly available either. Something like slant drilling might end up being very, very useful. He purchased an extra claim. He had the money for that because black magic. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Okay, we'll buy into that. Trying to make some cash off of it. Yeah, we did a better job than our opponent here. We can tell because his resources is not quite as good as ours. But we will need to watch and sell very quickly. There we go. Okay. $4,000. $4,000. What can we do with $4,000? Not very much, to my estimation. We can make sure to secure this aluminum, though. There we go. Sell just a little bit down. And maybe, maybe we take nanotech already? Maybe we take superconductor right now. I'm kind of leaning that direction. Now we're just waiting for resources to come in. Shortage on fuel is very unfortunate given that our friend is making it. Hopefully we'll be able to press through that. And we will need to look at getting some power up fairly quickly. I think we're going to send this now. Come on, come on, come on. The goal of this is just to get that upgrade done. And make sure we got power down. There we go. I've never seen such elegant use of funding. We okay. have more facilities open in no time. We need quite a lot of cash to make that happen, but we have it. So that's okay. And we're not in a bad spot for power, all things considered. Grab these. Wow. Okay, okay. This is a risk. But it's one I absolutely have to go for. I, this might kill me in this game, and I don't even care. I think I absolutely have to do this. Okay, give me the steel. Give me the steel. Come on. Sell down the steel. We're going to be careful about selling the glass too early because we want to make our opponent buy that glass for the upgrade. Okay, we can see he hasn't purchased a goon squad yet, so we're also going to be looking to go ahead and use this black market to knock down his power once day comes. And let's grab that last silicon tile before he does. Come on. Okay, daytime's still a little ways away. So we have some time. He's getting down a water pump. For some reason, he has metal mines and a water pump available to him. I don't think we've ever seen those options yet, but you know, I'm not, I'm not bitter. It's fine. It's fine. Come on, there's daytime. Unfortunately, he is scientific, so it's not a fantastic use, but... It is a use. And we're making quite a bit of money a second, reducing our debt quite nicely based on that play. Steel shortage, all right. We don't really have a lot of money to buy into that with, but we do have a lot of steel stored up, so maybe it'll work. Maybe we'll be okay. The black market is online. We are actually gonna do one more black market play on him, despite the fact that he is scientific. I think. Well, 
Maybe we don't worry about it. Maybe we don't worry about it. Maybe instead I do something like mutiny his water. Or knock his water down. I think I'd rather mutiny it, though. Give me that. Patent lab. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and spend the cash on the teleportation. He's been making chemicals. I think chemicals got surplus. We can afford to do some weird things. We'll also plan on going after slant drilling. Just to make life a little bit easier for us. Okay. Good. Now we are a little short on aluminum, which is concerning. Maybe I could have mutinied his aluminum. But the water production is double the aluminum production here, so I think this was still the better play. Okay. What can we do? What can we do? I think we can just wait. Kind of wait on this glass to come... Come crawling in. I'm fairly comfortable committing hard to this. Okay, good. Let's see. I think with that, we will go ahead and put down a farm. The black market is online. Drop these two glass furnaces. All right, the mutiny went away. Do we want to commit to another one? Probably not the worst idea. Sell all the things into the iron shortage. Scientific colony expanded. Okay, he's expanding still. That's kind of good for us. Because, I mean, he was buying up a bunch of our resources. Yes, we had just sold them and reduced the price, but it means he's also not buying into this iron shortage. Which is very important. Silicon shortage. Buy into that. Yeah, we have way more than he does right now. I think we may go for the kill momentarily. go okay good oh yeah he's a computer details all right what we're gonna do we're gonna cancel slant drilling we're gonna sell all that off that gets us pretty close can we just cancel teleportation sell that and finish it we can always an important thing to look out for I don't think we would have been able to do that quite so easily had we not gotten those two shortages but we did and we made it happen quick little game yeah, not very long, not very long at all. I think we may package, I think we may try and get another game in on this video. We're going to go ahead and just grab the hacker array. And we're going to grab the water pump. Very good things to have for sure. I don't even, I don't even need to see the missions, quite frankly. I just know I want those. The ability to collect water is crazy important. Okay. Perk teleportation. Now, you'll notice that another thing we picked up from that game was an off-world market astronaut, so we do have access to that now. I'm still not too concerned about it this early in the rounds, because these rounds are very, very short. I think we only got up to, what, HQ level 3 that last game? Nowhere close to an off-world market. But it's great to secure that, because it's $120 of funds saved later. So I think what we're going to do this time, we just got a free solar panel. I don't know if we need another free solar panel. On the other hand... I know that starting the game with teleportation is pretty amazing. So we're going to try that. I know I went through that fairly quickly compared to usual, but I figure if we're going to put two, levels of water found. two games in the video, we can found. go ahead and keep the in-between time minimized. Low levels of iron found. Okay, it's a good place to plant if we can get away with it later. Vent. Okay, that will be useful. some good iron over here. High levels of iron found. Unfortunately, we do have to go down pretty late, I think, in order to get that extra claim we want. There's going to be silicon down here, almost for sure. Uh, we can just explore it to, to confirm. Okay, I get an extra claim now. So what we're going to do, we're going to throw down scientific over here. We're going to take those three steel locations. We have a solar panel and a patent lab. Sell off life support. Sell off carbon. 
We won't sell off the silicon yet. Okay, he found it in the middle of a bunch of silicon. Frustrating, but uh, tolerable, potentially. And now we just need, we're just going to need this steel to come in at this point. We do have an extra claim, still. So let's throw that down right in here, get in his way, try and keep him away from that nice trio of silicon down there. And I think we'll go ahead and take Superconductor right off the bat with our extra money. Robotic colony expanded. Now we're just waiting on the steel. Robotic colony is already expanded. I guess that shouldn't be too much of a surprise, even if it is a slight frustration. He's probably going to take this spot. Okay, what can we do? What can we do? I'm thinking maybe we just speed up the game a little bit. It's on fast speed now. And we'll just we'll just wait. Eventually this steel will come in. Mm. New pet up for auction. Well, bidding will be two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand. I don't really want them to have it. Is the thing five thousand? Maybe we can get away with that. So the black market is online. Do I want to use the black market? Is an important question right now. I think I do. I think I really would like that extra claim very quickly. How much steel gets sent in at once? I'll be patient. Okay, there we go. We can upgrade. Our growth is surpassing my most optimistic projection. Let's actually, if we can. Okay. Sell off a little aluminum to try and get these glass furnaces down. I know they're not going to be buying glass, but the colony will still be buying glass, and they're probably not going to be producing much glass either. I'm not going to worry about water as much, because for some reason one of them is bringing in water, and they're not going to be uh, using the water for very much. They've got a hydrolysis, an electrolysis reactor down, but that's only going to be using half the water they're bringing in, right? So hopefully it'll be okay to just kind of avoid water for the time being. Okay, let's go ahead, start auto supply, sell off a bunch of that, buy up a bunch of oxygen. That should get sent out before long. There we go. And there's the other one. Okay, good. And we will do one more of those. So let's sell off. What can we sell off? We can sell off some silicon. That's okay. Oh, excellent. They're fighting each other. That's what we want to see. And just try and keep enough oxygen around that uh, we can ship some out as soon as that last glass furnace is up. We have one more claim to use. What can we do with it that's interesting? Maybe we just throw down Two a reactor? Thousand. Okay, I'm not so concerned about that. Hopefully they'll just fight it out. Four thousand. Five thousand. That's pretty cheap, but I suppose that's just what it's going to be. And they're nuking each other. That works out just great for me. Maybe they did nuke me. I don't really... Nope. They didn't. It's not like it would matter either way. And another nice thing about being scientific, obviously, they could be fighting me as well. But half the black market doesn't work against me. Pretty, almost the entire black market really just doesn't work against me. So there's not a lot of benefit to that for them. Okay, let's see. We're just kind of waiting. We're just Let waiting on stuff at this point. You all screw with us, and we screw with you. Not a big deal at all. This is why I'm so interested in actually getting down a hacker array, which might be a good way to to use this patent lab. Teleportation is tempting, but I don't really need Rebaltic it. Colony Chemicals are a bit expensive, so I think we're going to scrap the patent lab. Sell off some steel, throw down a hacker array, and just start shorting glass to victory. Why would you blow up my steel mill? That's so rude. Sell off a little steel, repair the steel mill. It's like the one thing in the black market that actually works against me very well. Okay, you shut down my power for 30 seconds. Congratulations. Okay, here comes the glass. 
we'll be able to upgrade off that fairly easily. Come on. Come on. And I do want to go ahead and get an upgrade in. There we go. Our growth is surpassing my then we'll start the short. Projections. Get down. Do I want expanded. a little more power? Maybe. Might be better just to throw in a couple reactors, though. A couple reactors. Maybe a little food? Ah, uh, maybe I don't need power. Maybe I don't need power. Ah, this is still good for me. I don't need it. But I can't, one thing to note is I can't rebuild a patent lab. I can probably repair it, but I can't build a new one. And if I can keep them from having the perk auction patent lab scientist, then they're not fighting me over the patent labs in later missions. So even though that's a bit risky, hopefully it'll work out. I do need to worry about water a bit more at this point. No, he still got even more down. He's only using at most three. He's br bringing in a lot more than that, but now it's getting nuked. It's just bad. Yeah. We'll go ahead and put, use the last one for a water pump rather than food for the time being. Okay. My debt is getting a little high, which is concerning. Our hackers have compromised the trading servers. But hopefully not too bad. We'll do shortly. that. Buy completely into the glass short. Except for what it takes to start another one. Come on. I want it to get started as fast as possible. Let me do it. There we go. Kept buying up resources. There we are. Robotic colony okay. expanded. We could just be patient and wait on another glass short. How's our debt looking? Our debt's still not in a great spot because of this food nonsense. We might want to expand one more time. Oh, also the colony is shrinking because oxygen is too expensive. I don't really know what the best way to approach that would be. I could turn off my glass furnaces. It does I really want to pass this mission. It's shrinking pretty fast. How's oxygen looking? Oxygen keeps getting more expensive because even though I've got three of these reactors down, they're not running very well. Mm, yeah, I think I need to upgrade again. Our hackers have compromised the Another option service. is to do something like uh, Price manipulation begins shortly. Sell off a little bit, surplus oxygen. Four, thousand, and hopefully we can save six, the colony. Bit awkward being against two robotics when the colony requires a bunch of life support resources anyways. Mm, I think I'll let it go. I don't think I can take on the debt. What am I looking at for resources? 91, 92, 100. Okay. Hopefully this glass short does it and we can just end the game and I don't have to worry about the fact that the colony is dying off slowly. There we go. Almost, almost there. Our hackers have compromised okay. the trading servers. Electronics production Price is off. Manipulation begins shortly. That's fine. Yeah, we're okay. We're okay. Just a little more. Not too much at all, and we'll be able to finish this mission up. There we go. Goodbye. Really wanted to win that one for the teleportation upgrade. Uh, we did kick it up to fast speed and kind of just leave it there the whole time. But I think that was for the best. Hacker Ray working out really well there. Just, it does kind of express my complete concern about both the Hacker Ray and the campaign at the same time, right? I find the Hacker Ray to be extremely powerful. They weren't targeting it. They weren't shutting it down. If I was concerned about that, I could have just goon squatted it. And it wouldn't have been an issue anyway. It just cost me like a total of maybe $10,000 to goon squat it twice and protect it for the entire duration I needed. But they just didn't have a lot of recourse against it, right? Because they couldn't make glass. They couldn't make glass. And they would have had to try and shut it down. It wouldn't have worked very well because I'm scientific and goon squads are absolute production. I don't know 
what they do there besides stock up a bunch of resources so they can try and buy into my short that they don't know for sure what I'm shorting. They can guess glass, right? If they're thinking about it. I know they're computers, but pretend they're people with me for a moment. And they can do that, but that's not fun, right? Just having all your money sitting around because you need to counter the fact that this guy is going to be making a massive amount of money. And because he has a slight lead on you and has found this one little area of the market you're not in, there's really nothing you can do because the investment will pay off more for him than you because he got into it first. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure, guys. I'm not sure. Let's be done with my little rant against the hacker array for the day and go ahead and look at some things. Look at resources. Oh, look, I won based on glass. What a surprise. They bought some glass and they bought some glass. They bought a lot of chemicals, which was weird to me. But I guess whatever floats your boat, realistically. Part of why I didn't go too deep into the patent lab this time, I saw that happening. Chemicals were getting expensive. I was just like, forget it. <sighs> Not too complicated a mission. Not too complicated at all. They fought each other a little bit. We just sat in our corner, did our science thing, and it paid off. Plenty of money off of power and glass. That's going to go ahead and do it for this episode. I think that was plenty of time for it to run. If you have anything of particular interest involving the campaign or multiplayer stuff, feel free to leave a comment because that's going to be the best way to get me to do something about it. Uh, other than that, thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you next time.